So for today, uh, the idea of population ratio and sample ratio ang gagamitin natin to identify whether we uh, we are to reject of uh, reject accept, or accept the null hypothesis then we will be having our conclusion okay po so yun ang gagawin natin gagamitin natin we will be having first babalikan natin kung paano ba malalaman kung reject or accept the null or reject reject to accept or accept the null hypothesis then we are to use or uh, to use the sample ratio and uh, and population ratio in order to find the C, C tabular or C computed, then magagawa tayo ng conclusion. Paano, kung paano gumawa ng conclusion out of the nakuha natin given. So let's start. Okay. So now, let's start first with the appropriate rejection region involving population proportion. So ang uh, pinakamahalaga dito ay malaman natin Paano ba natin malalaman kung i-reject -re natin ang, uh, ang null hypothesis or fail to reject? Please take note ha, fail to reject or reject lang yung idea. Um, or accept or fail to accept. Paano, uh, malalaman natin yon base sa ating pong gagawing normal distribution. Please take note that we are on the normal di distribution kasi we are taking note na nandun tayo sa central limit theory. Okay po? Again, uh, sa central limit theory, uh, tinitingnan natin ang given as may tamang number ng sample. Pag may na tamang number ng sample, ibig sabihin magiging normal ang distribution niya. Okay. So here are the two ways to test the hypothesis with the p-value approach and the critical value approach. So mamaya, um, they discuss natin yan, but we are more concerned on the, on the critical approach, value approach, kasi mas madali na lang yung gamitin. And we will consider the re rejection region with the critical value approach. The critical value enables us to reject or not the null hypothesis. So it sabi nga natin, ang critical value ang magsasabi sa atin kung i-reject ba natin or hindi natin i-reject ang null hypothesis. Also, the calculated through alpha level of symbolized by Z or C tab. Yung alpha means the level of confidence. Gano ka ba kasagrado or gano ba kahonde ang level of error base na makukuha mo doon sa iyo pong pagsasampol. So, paano ba natin makukuha yung critical value or CTAB? So, we have separate rejection region from the acceptance region derived from level of significance and expressed as C values symbolizes as CTAB. So, ito yung kukomputin natin mamaya. Um, yung mga CTAB natin or computed value of C. Then, ikukompare natin siya sa critical in order to have our uh, conclusion. So, let's start first muna. Uh, matuto muna tayong ma malaman kung paano ba tayo maglalagay or maglalagay ng rejection region uh, base sa, sa level of confidence. So in here, I have here level of confidence. Kung mapansin nyo, we have left-tailed, right-tailed, and two-tailed. Okay? Our level of confidence will be 0 0.01 or 99%. 0.025 or 97.5% ang confidence, 0 0.05 or 95%, then we have our 0.1 na pinakamababa natin, which is the 90%. Kung makapansin nyo sa mm -hmm. pag um, pag 0 0.01 is the highly significant, Sir. ibig sabihin, yes po? Hindi po kayo naka-share screen. Ah, hindi naka-share screen. Apo. <laughs> Bakit? Wait lang. Share screen natin. Hindi pala na share screen. Salita ako ng salita. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Balikan natin ito. Yan. Yan. So this is the level of confidence. Yan. So we have 0 0.01, 0 0.025, 0 0.05, and 0.1. Sabi nga natin, the 0 0.01 ang pinakamataas ang level ng confidence. Kasi ibig sabihin, ang confidence level niya ay 99%. Okay? 
kung i-change natin siya into um, percentage. Yung 0 0.025 is the next one, which is kung i-convert natin siya sa ating pong um, percentage level, ang uh, ibig sabihin ang percentage ng uh, confidence niya ay 97.5%. Then we have the 0 0.05 or 95%. Then we have the, the pinakamababang accepted pinakamababang accepted na confidence which is the 0.10 or 0.10 which is ibig sabihin niyan that is 10, uh, that will be 90%. Confidence. So yun yung accepted natin, na 90% uh, um, confidence. So kung makapansin nyo dun sa baba, we have point zero one is the highly significant. Ibig sabihin talagang malakas ang laban niya. Then we have the point zero five is statistically significant. And the point ten is the significant one. Ngayon, so gagamitin natin yan in order to make our rejection uh area of projection. So let's have an example. Okay. So what to do? Identify the level of significance, formulate the alternative hypothesis, then determine the critical value, illustrate the rejection region in the normal curve. So let's try to do this one. A sample of 100 is randomly selected from Pinagpala School and 18 of 18 of them said that they are left-handed. Test the hypothesis that 20% of the students are left-handed by using alpha is equals to 0.05 as level of confidence. So, ibig sabihin muna natin, um, we have to state muna na ang ating pong HO at saka ang ating pong alternative hypothesis. So yung nung una natin gagawin, ang hanapin ang null hypothesis at hanapin ang ating HO. So magbabase tayo sa given sa atin or sa claim na meron tayo. Okay? So ang hanapin natin muna, palitan ko kulay, sorry, nakablock, is the HO at HA. Okay? So, yan muna ang una natin nga hanapin. So, ang sabi dito, the sample 100 students is strongly selected from Pinagpala High School and 18 of them said that they are left-handed. Test the null hypothesis that the level, test the hypothesis that the level is less than 20%. Less than 20%. And natin na kapag ganito na uh, it is really given na ang atin po ay may mga uh, kailangan natin ma-identify kung left or right ang ating pong uh, ang ating one tail test. This will be one tail test kasi nakita naman less than greater than. Um, kailangan natin unahin ang ating pong HA. HA ibig sabihin natin ang yun natin ay less than sabi natin it's less than 20%. So, yan. So, ito yung ating itetest, yung HA natin. Clear po tayo doon. That will be our HA. Okay? So, ngayon, kung yan ang ating pong HA, kung mapapansin nyo, yan, P or P is less than 20%. Hindi pala natin gagamitin, ay, sorry, didilid natin, huwag natin, hindi pala siya mean, Kundi P. 20%. Gawin, gamitin natin ay P. P. So pwede siyang P is less than 20% or P is less than 0.20. Dinesimal na natin siya. Pwede siya sa dalawa. Okay? So ibig sabihin ng HO natin can be P is, babalik na rin natin, greater than or equal to 0.20. Okay? So nakuha na natin ang null hypothesis natin. Okay. The next one is to for, na formulate na natin ang ating null hypothesis is to determine the critical value. So paano natin malalaman ang critical value? Using our 0, 1. Our alpha. Our alpha here is 0 0.05, 0 0.05.
Ibig sabihin, kung ito-drawing natin yan, paano natin malalaman kung left or right siya? Um, dahil siya ay less than, ibig sabihin, ang, ang, uh, ang, ang, ang direction niya ay papunta sa left kasi less than kung sa ating pong, uh, tarito, kung sa ating pong number line, di ba may number line tayo, pa right ay pa positive at pa left ay negative, ibig sabihin kung less than, ibig sabihin pa baba. Ibig sabihin we are left one left uh, left hand. So ibig sabihin ang titingnan natin ay 0 0.05 na left. Okay? Paano natin titingnan? Balikan natin. So left natin ay 0 0.05, left tilled na 0 0.05, ibig sabihin ito 'yon. Ito 'yon. Wait lang. na 0.05 ibig sabihin bas left tailed ito yon yung negative 1645 negative 1645 ngayon saan natin gagamitin yung negative 1645 na yan pag i-drawing natin siya if i drawing natin siya baba tayo meron tayo dating uh, normal distribution Diba? Ito ay may hati sa gitna. Okay? So, a negative 1645, kung ito ay 0, ay more or less nandito. Negative. So, ang alpha natin dito, please take note that the alpha is 0 0.05. And this is negative 1.645. Tama po ba? Negative 1.645. Hey, ibig sabihin nito, ang region na ito, sabi natin less than, ito ay less than, ibig sabihin, ito ang ating rejection. Rejection area. Bakit rejection area? Ang ire-reject kasi natin ay ang ating null hypothesis. Ibig sabihin, kung pumatak siya dito sa less than, ang computed natin mamaya ay pumatak dito sa less than 1645, ibig sabihin, dito sa shaded na to, ibig sabihin, tama ang ating pong letter P, which is our HA. Ibig sabihin nun, kung tama ang HA natin, i-reject natin ang HO. Kaya sa rejection area. Pero kung ang lumabas naman ay mas malaki, ibig sabihin pumatak naman sa region na hindi shaded, ibig sabihin naman that is the accepted failed to reject area. Ibig sabihin, if we fail to reject natin ang HO, ia-accept natin ang HO or ang claim. Okay? Ganun po ang mangyayari nun. Okay? So, ganyan ang magiging uh, uh, basihan natin kung paano natin i-reject or i-accept ang claim based sa given. Okay? Para mas maintindihan pa natin, let's have another one. And so yan nga yung rejection area. This is negative 6, 4, 5. So lahat ng papasok dito ay if i-reject natin ang null hypothesis. Pero pag pumasok tayo, non-rejection area yun, ibig sabihin, i-accept natin ang ating pong Null hypothesis. Let's have another one. The claim is 40% that of the tax filers, filers use computer software to file the tax says. In a sample of 50% tax uh, filers, 14 use computer software to file their taxes. If HA is 70%, 70 is less than 0.4 at 0 0.025 where is P in the population proportion used the computer software determine the CTAP. Okay po. So in here, it is very obvious na given na sa atin ang HA. Ang HA natin, sabi dito, ay P is less than 0 0.04. Uh, 40, sorry. Clear. 
is less than 40%. Kasi yun yung claim eh. The claim is made of 40%. So, ibig sabihin, this is 0.40 or 40%. So, babalik tari lang natin ang HO natin. Our HO is P is greater than or equal to 0.40. Binaliktad natin. Ngayon, hanapin natin ano ang alpha niya. Ang alpha niya is 0.025. 0.025, dahil ito ay less than ulit, ibig sabihin left, left ulit po siya. Nasa left po siya ulit. So hanapin natin muna yung value. 0.025, left. 0.025, left. So that is negative 1.96. Negative 1.96. So, nasaan po ang negative 1.96? Kung ito ay 1, ito ay 2. Diba? 1, 2, 3. May maglalagay tayo. Negative 1.96 is most probably here. Ito yung 1.96 natin. Mali yung kulay ko. Yan. Yan. Yan yung 1.96 natin. Negative 1.96. Nandyan siya. So please take note that our alpha our alpha is equal to 0 0.025. Okay? 0 0.025. Ngayon, this is what, negative negative 1.96. Ibig sabihin nito, this side is the rejection part kasi less than. This is the rejection part and this is the non-rejection part. This is the rejection area and this is the non-rejection area. Yung hindi shaded. Okay? Clear po tayo? Nakukuha po kung paano nalaman kung i-reject natin o hindi. Okay, magbabase lang tayo doon sa given. Okay? Let's have another one. This one is different. So, lagi tayo nandun sa uh, one-tailed. Paano naman kapag two-tailed? Ano ang gagawin natin kapag two-tailed yung given? So, let's clear this one. Yan. So, yan. So, that's 0 0.025. This is the rejection area and the non-rejection area. Okay? So, kapag lumabas, kunyari, ang ating value ay 2. Kunyari, ang lumabas, sige nga, kapag lumabas, sa computed value natin ay 2, saan siya papatak? Rejection area or non-rejection area? 2. Any idea? Non-rejection po. Sir. Correct. It's non-rejection. Ibig sabihin, kung nasa non-rejection siya, i-accept mo ang HO mo. Ngayon, kung lumabas naman ay negative 2, nasa naman siya? Rejection po, sir. Nasa rejection area siya, ibig sabihin, hindi mo naman tatanggapin ang HO at ang tatanggapin mo ay ang HA. Alternative. Okay po tayo doon. Let's have another one. This one. Yan. In Kalinga, a sample of 140 was chosen among them. 48 are diagnosed with attention deficit hydro, hyperactivity disorder. At a, uh, 01, test that the hypothesis the proportion of ADHD student in the school is not 0. 0.40. 0. 0.40. So ito yung itatas natin. So our HA, uunahin natin ang HA natin. Ibig sabihin, P is not... 0.4. Ang ibig sabihin niya. While our HO, this P is equal to 0.40. Dahil equal or not lang siya, ibig sabihin that's two, that's two directional. Parehong side ay meron. Pero paano natin gagawin yung parehong side ay meron? So titingnan natin, Ang level of, of significance natin ay 0 0.01. So babalik tayo sa 0 0.01. Level of significance. Yan. 0 0.01. Level of significance is positive negative 2.575. 
ne positive negative 2.575. Ibig sabihin, um, ilalagay natin sa negative 2.75, pareho po yun. Uh, 2.5 is merely nandito ang negative at nandito ang positive. So, ibig sabihin, ang may kulay natin ay parehong dulo. So, ito yon At saka po ito. This is positive 2.75. I think, ha? kung ano man yung lamabas kanina. This is negative. This is negative 2.75. Pero ang alpha natin, hindi na, 'di ba ang alpha natin ay what's our alpha? Kanina. Ito ba 'yon? Hindi, baliktad. Hindi mabis ako. Yan. Ang alpha natin ay 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Pero hindi natin siya ilalagay as alpha as 0 0.01. Tandaan na hati ang alpha. So ibig sabihin, alpha is equals to 0 0.01 over 2. Dito rin sa kabila, maglalagay rin tayo ng alpha. It's 0 0.01 over 2. Para po mas maliwanag, ito po yan. Clear natin ito. Yan. So ito, so ang nakita natin kanina is negative 2.575. So nagawa tayo ng border dito sa negative 2.575 at positive 2.575. Okay? Ngayon, um, yung alpha natin, which is 0 0.01, ay hinati natin sa dalawa kasi magkabilang side siya. So, naging 0 0.01 over 2 is 0 0.005. So, this is also 0 0.005. The, the colored part is the rejection area, magkabilang side, and the acceptance area, or non-rejection area, ay ang ating pong white part. Okay? So, ibig sabihin kung alam ba sa calculation natin ng z-value ay 0, so we have to fail to reject the null hypothesis or accept the null hypothesis. Pero pag ang lumabas ay negative 3, example, negative 3, papatak siya sa rejection area, ibig sabihin, if we fail to reject, eh, i-re-reject mo ang null hypothesis at i-accept mo naman ang alternative hypothesis. Clear po tayo? Ngayon. So, I think eh, clear naman kung paano gumawa ng ating pong um, normal distribution na graph. Clear na po? Any questions sa normal distribution graph? May question kayo kung paano ginagawa ang normal distribution? Tandaan yung, yung table po ng uh, level of confidence ay nasa um, Module number 11. Module number 11. Ha? Module number 11. So look for, or ipapasok ko na rin siya mamaya para may copy kayo. Ha? Para hindi nyo nahanapin na hanapin. Any question so far sa paggagawa ng uh, acceptance at sa rejection area? May question po? Wala po sir. Okay po. Can we continue now with our next, new le next lesson? Now, let's continue. So, our next lesson is computing the test statistic value involving population proportion. Ito na. Hahanapin na natin yung value na i-compare natin sa critical para malaman natin kung i-accept ba natin o hindi. We have the formula Z computation or Z computed value is equals to P hat or proportion of the sample minus the proportion of the population over the square root of population times sample of uh, population proportion times the failed population proportion. Di ba yung isa fast, isa, isa failed, nagturo ko na yan yung P at saka yung Q over N. Okay? So babalikan natin paano ba natin mahanap yung mga yan. Basta take note muna ang ating pong formula. Ang formula natin is P hat minus P over the square root of PQ over N. 
Tandaan, ang Q ay nakukuha sa 1 minus P. Huh? 1 minus P. So, let's have this one. Kala, baba ko lang pa. Paano natin babasahin? A recent survey done by the House, by the Philippine House Saying Authority found that 35% of the population owns their homes. In a random sample of 240, 78 responded that they own their homes. So ibig sabihin, kung makapansin natin, ang kailangan natin sa ating pong formula ay population proportion, sample proportion, and the failed uh, um, the failure sample, uh, population proportion at sa hapo number of sample. So isa-isahin natin ang mga yan kung paano natin mahahanap. Let's start first with our population proportion. The population proportion is very clear. It's 35%. 35% or 0.5 plus 1 it's 0.35. Okay, next. Madali natin mahanap si Q kasi ang Q naman ay ma-minus mo lang yung 35 sa 100 or yung 0.35 sa 1. So this is 65% or 0.65. Okay po tayo dyan. Next, we have our P hat. Our P hat is our sample proportion. Based on sample, sabi, there are 240 heads, pero 78 lang ang nag-respond. So that is 78 over 240. 78 over 240, pag divide natin, 78 divided by 240, that's 0. 30, 0. 0.325, so or 0.33. Gets for 0.33. Okay. And last hour end is 70. 240. Our end is 240. So we have our formula for C computed. C computed as P hat minus P over the square root of PQ over n. So, ibig sabihin, so, our p hat is 0.33 minus 0.35 tama? 0.35 all over the square root of 0.35 times 0.65 over 240. Okay? So, unahin muna natin itong taas. 0.33 divided by 0.35 that will be negative 0 0.2. Tama? 0 0.2. 0 0.33 minus 0 0.35. Tama po? Eh? Can you... Tama po ba? Tama po. Okay po. So next natin ang gagawin ay 0.35 times 0.65 divided by 240. Then i-square root natin yun. So ang lalabas doon ay 0 0.0307879. Tama? If you have your special calculator, pwede nang dire-diretso yun. So ngayon, that's uh, it divide natin yung 0 0.02 by nakuha natin which is 0 0.0307879 kung ano nakuha natin sa calculator then we will be having RC computate computate uh, so ano nakuha natin so that's 0 0.02 divided by Negative yun ha? 0 
seven, eight, seven, nine. It's negative 0 0.65, more or less. Are you Negative 0.65. Ten, 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 ito. Zero three two five. Ang ginamit niya ay zero three two five. Okay. Kinomplete. Kinompleto niya. Hindi niya ginamit yung point thirty three, which is okay lang naman. Ah, uh, magkatao na lang tayo dun sa point thirty three. Okay. So that's negative zero two five divided by ano nakuha natin dun? That's point thirty five times point sixty five divided by two forty. Then, square root natin, ang lumabas sa kanya ay negative 0.812. Ang atin, anong lumabas sa inyo? Noong ating kanina. 0.33 di ba ang atin? 0.33. Uh, so, wala ka sa scientific calculator dito. Anong lumabas sa inyo? Z value po, sir. Uh -huh. Negative 0 0.65. Uh, 0 0.65. So, um, para hindi na lang po mahirap, mag-settle na lang tayo sa, dun sa P at Q ay two decimal places. Okay? Kung uh, napapansin niyo dito, ginawa niya hindi niya two decimal places, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng discrepancy. Okay? Okay na po yun. Basta makikita ko naman yung process natin. Okay? So, two decimal places, Bagos, ang ID lang natin, dapat yung pan-divide natin sa baba, it's complete. Huh, complete na lang. Okay. So, ang final answer natin ay point, negative 0.65. Okay, 0.65. Dahil sa atin po, ang ginamit natin ay 0.3. Kung makapansin nyo, ang difference lang niya ay 0.005 pero malaking diferensya. From uh, negative 0, 0.812 naging 0, 0.65, which is acceptable naman. Wala tayo pa ba dyan. Okay? Let's have another one. Clear natin to. Okay po. I-continue na natin to. Okay. Uh, ngayon. Clear natin to. Example lang. Let's continue with this one. Ha? Yan lang ba sa atin na 0 0.0812? 0 0.812. Anong given sa atin kanina? Okay. That's, ah, wala, wala pa pala to. So hindi pa natin, hindi pa complete yung question. Let's try this one. Okay. RP, can you please solve for this? So, RP is 0.42. Our sample is 150. And P hat is 0.45. So, mas madali ito. So, RP, ambit natin. So, P hat, anong P hat natin? 0.45 minus 0.42 all over the square root of 0.42 Ano yung Q natin? Anong Q natin? An idea? 0.58. Correct. 0.58. Point, that's correct. 0.58 over 150. Over 150. So this will be positive to. This will be positive 0 0.03. Tama? 0 0.03 over... So, natin yan. 0.42 times 0.58 divided by 150. Then, find the square root of the answer. So, that is 0 0.0402988. And our final answer will be 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.04028. That will be 0 0.74. Do you have the same answer? It's 0 0.74. Okay, Bob. 
So this is our C computed. Yan na i-compare ko natin mamaya sa atin pong um, critical value. Tama ba? Let's show this one. Yan. 0.744. So pareho tayo. Okay. Tiri po tayo. Next. How about this one? Tiri natin to. Yan. Ito, kompleto na yung question na to. Kompleto na yung question na to. Hey, the claim that is 40% that, fa uh, that file, so yung, yung kanina, 40%. So we have our HA and our A is 0.05. Okay, so kompletuhin na natin mula simula hanggang dulo. Okay, para maliwanag. Okay, ngayon, let's start first with the HA. A and HO. HA and HO. Baliktad pala. HO and HA. Ano HA natin? P is greater than 0.4. Greater than nakalagay ha? 0.4. Greater than 0.4. Ito po yan. HA is greater than 0.4. So, ibig sabihin, P, HO will be P is less than or equal to 0.4. Clear po tayo dyan. Ha? Nakasundan po itong HO at HA? Ha? Yes po, sir. Okay po. Gawa ngayon tayo ng ating pong normal distribution. Based on normal distribution, ang sabi, ang alpha natin is 0.05. Point A is equals to 0 0.05. Ano to? Left or right? Right. Kasi this is greater than. 0 0.05 bagos ay greater than. So balikan natin yung kanina. Uh, right. 0 0.01. Tama? 0 0.01 tayo, no? So that is 2.33. 2.33. Okay. Yan. So, 0 0.05. Tama? 0 0.05. Ay, maris. 0 0.05 pala tayo. Hindi pala, hindi pala 0 0.05. Ito pala yun. 1.645. 1.645. So, kung yung gagawin natin, positive yun. No? Positive 1.645. So, kung gagawin natin yun, nandito yun sa positive... So, ito yon. This is 1645. 1645. Ito yon. Yung 1645. So that's, it's greater than, sabi, greater than. So, ito yung may kulay. Ito yung may kulay. So, this is the rejection area. And this is the non-rejection area. Yung walang kulay. Ngayon, clear na po tayo dyan. Ano nangyari? 1,6,4,5. Nandito tayo sa positive. Greater than, kaya papunta po doon ang kulay. Kasi greater than, dapat mas malaki. Okay. Ngayon, if that is the case, let's try... Na, sumabra ako ng kulay. Nasaan yung ating kanina? Yan. Sabi ngayon, kailangan natin mo-compute ngayon ang ating pong, this is our critical value. The 1645 is our critical value. Ngayon, kailangan natin computein ang Z computed or computed Z. Ang computed Z natin ay Z com Z com ay equal sa P. What is our P? Sabi kasi dito, ang P natin ay 40%. Okay? 40%. So, this is 0.4. Okay? So, ang Q natin ay 0.6. Tama? 0.4, 0.6. Ano ngayon ang ating P sample? Our P sample or proportion uh, P hat or sample proportion in a sample of 50 
14 uses the taxes. So that's 14 over 50. What is 14 over 50? 0.28. That's 0.28. This is 0.28. And our N is 50. Okay? Our N is 50. So let's compute. So sample muna natin. It's 0.28. Minus 0.4 minus 0.4 all over the square root of 0.4 times 0.6 all over 50. So this will equal to point negative this is negative please take note of that negative 0.12 negative 0.12 all over 0.4 times 0.6 divided by 50 then find the square root of the answer so that is 0.069 282 so our final computed value is negative 0.12 divided by 0 0.069282. I two negative 2.89. Negative 2.89. Do you have the same answer? That's negative 2.89. minus 0.4, that's negative 0.12. Then 0.40 times 0.60 divided by 50, divided by 50. So, pinag minus natin, that's 2 point. Ah, mali yung aking pag-divide. Ah, hindi, tama. 0. 0.69, tama. 0. 0.69, 0. 0.69. Ang lumabas sa kanya ay negative. Ano lumabas sa inyo? Negative, negative 1.73 po. Ah, so mali yung divide ko. So, this is, clear natin, negative 1.73. Oh, ne so, ito yun, tama yan. So, negative 1.73. Okay, if that's the case that we have negative 1.73, what is our critical? 1, 6, positive 1.645, diba? So, ibig sabihin, if the C computation is so negative 1.73, saan siya papasok? Rejection area or non-rejection area? Rejection area po. Rejection area? Negative to, negative. Ay, negative. Sa non-rejection. Non non-rejection area. Ibig sabihin, if that's a non-rejection area tayo, pasok tayo ngayon sa finding the conclusion. Alam mo na kasi ngayon eh. So, paano natin sasabihin yan? Ito. So, we have the non-rejection area. So, i-re-reject -re natin ang H. Ah, hindi natin i-re-reject ang HO. Tama? Failed to reject the HO. Kasi non-rejection tayo. So there is, paano natin sasabihin yan? There is insufficient evidence. Titignan natin to. There is insufficient evidence at alpha level of significance to reject the claim that ano yung claim mo? Ano ang HO mo? Uh, your HO and ginamit pa pala yung HA, no? So, kung ang gagawin natin ay 40%, the claim that 40%, ito yung sasabihin mo, ano yung HO mo? P uh, is greater than or equal to 40%. Kasi fail to reject tayo doon. Yung HO natin. Okay? Or pwede mong gamitin naman itong isang to. Kung mag, uh, ang gagawin mo yung HA, 
since not na reject natin yung HA na NRA so fail to reject HA so sinasa uh, ibig sabihin non rejection area so non rejection area so hindi natin na reject ang HO ina accept natin ang HO tama ina accept natin ang HO ibig sabihin noon so kung ina accept natin ang HO nire-reject natin ang HA. So, there is insufficient, nire-reject natin ang HA. So, ang sasabihin natin, since ang ating pong given ay nahabase, nahabase sa ating pong dito, basta sabihin nyo na lang ay nire-reject nyo ang HO, ah, nire-reject nyo, wait, non-rejection. So, you fail to reject the HO which is ano yung HO natin? P is greater than, or P is less than or equal to 40%. And accept, ina-accept natin ng null hypothesis, the claim that 40% that taxpayers are computed. Yan. So doon tayo magagawa ng conclusion sa so, nakuha natin yun. Okay? So, Fail to reject. So, pumasok siya sa non-rejection area. We are not rejecting HO. Ibig sabihin, we are, reject, we are accepting HO. So, we are accepting we are accepting or we have sufficient idea that P is greater than or equal to 0.4. Okay. And reject idea that is 40% is let, greater than equal greater than 40%. Nagets pa yung difference or naguguluhan? Medyo naguguluhan, Medyo naguguluhan po sir. Okay, ulitin natin ha. Saan siya pumatak? Non-rejection area. Sa non-rejection. Kung non-rejection siya, ibig sabihin... Ang, ang hindi niya i-reject ang HO. Ha? Hindi niya i-reject ang HO. Okay po. Hindi niya i-reject, ina-accept na to, ito ang i-reject niya. Okay tayo. Tandaan natin na ang claim natin ay nahabase sa HA. Okay? So ibig sabihin, pwede, pwede kayong magsabi, magsabi ng kahit ano po kung gusto nyo pag-usapan na HO or HA, pwede yun. So, pwede nyo sabihin, there is, uh, kasi nireject natin yung HA, there is insufficient evidence at alpha level that 40% of the taxpayer is greater than 40%. So, tapos na yon. Or kung gusto nyo pag-usapan ang HO, ang HO, ibig sabihin, inaccept natin. There is evident, uh, there is sufficient evident to failed to reject. Ibig sabihin, failed to reject, ibig sabihin, inaccept. Or pwede mo sabihin, there is sufficient evident to accept to accept the claim that 40% is less than or equal to 40, uh, that less than or equal to 40% of the taxpayer use computer software. Okay. So titingnan nyo kung accept or reject. Pwede mong pag-usapan ang HO or pwede mong pag-usapan ang HA. Nasa iyo na kung anong gusto mong pag-usapan. Basta uh, tama yung word. Kapag HO ang pinag-uusapan mo, dapat accept or fail to reject ang word mo. Pag HA ang pinag-usapan mo sa conclusion mo, Dahil ni-reject mo siya, it's either you reject or fail to accept your HA. Okay? Clear na po ngayon. Mas, mas maliwanag na po ngayon ang uh, gagawin? Ang conclusion? Sir, paano nga po kapag po HO? Pag HO, okay po. Diba we have HO and HA. 
Tama. This HO is hypothesis, a null hypothesis, and HA is the null alternative hypothesis. Ang pinag-uusapan natin with regards sa critical at sa hasa computed ay ang null hypothesis. Hypothesis na natin ha. Since ang, ang critical natin is 1.645 at ang atin pong computed ay negative 1.73, the negative 1.73 falls on non-rejection area. Ibig sabihin, ang non-rejection area, hindi mo, hindi mo i -re reject ang HO. Tandaan. Ang pinag-uusapan po dito ay HO. Okay? Hindi mo ni -re reject ang HO. Kung hindi mo ni -re reject ang HO, ibig sabihin, ina-accept mo ang HO. Tama? Hindi mo ni -re reject eh. Di in-accept mo. in mo ang HO, ibig sabihin, ang i -re reject mo ang HA or the alternate or alternative dahil inaccept mo na ang HO so hindi mo natatanggapin ang HA so ngayon kung magkukonclude ka kapag gusto mong pag-usapan ng HO ang sasabihin mo doon ay accept kung anong sinasabi ng HO mo which is greater than or less than or equal to 30% or pwede mo sabihin din Fail to reject the idea of less than or equal to 40 ang ganyan. Ang use computer software to find. Kung ang gusto mo naman pag-usapan ay HA, ibig sabihin, ang nakalagay natin ay reject. So ang sasabihin mo doon, there is sufficient area to reject, reject that 40 per, greater than 40% Filers use filers use computer software or pwede rin sabihin natin failed to accept the idea that less than 40% use computer software file uh, software to file their taxes okay po clear po tayo apa sir okay po Basta kapag nakalagay sa AA, ang ibig sabihin nun ay accept or fail to reject. Yun ang mga kaba ang ibig sabihin eh. Inaccept mo, ibig sabihin, pinihil mo to reject. Pag nakalagay sa iyo R, nireject mo, ibig sabihin, fail to accept naman yun. Clear po tayo? Clear? Yes po. Okay po. So yun po. So, <coughs> Yun lang yung gagawin, uh, yun ang gagawin nyo. So, you have to look for the rejection area. You have to compute and use your use your computation to have your conclusion. So, conclusion ay yung tungkol sa HO at sa HA. Clear? Any questions so far? Wala po. Yan. So, ito po ang gagawin natin. Okay natin. So, labas ako ha. Stop share. Okay. So, hoping na kahit paano nagkaliwanagan na tayo. Medyo nakakalito lang talaga siya. You have to analyze the situation. Okay. Para malaman mo kung i-accept mo or i-reject mo yung given. Okay lang ha. Hanapin ko lang yung pagagawa ko sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Yan, wait lang. Pala pwede ito. Okay. So, later, I'll be posting on your ito, on your group chat kung ano yung gagawin nyo. Uh, tatlong items lang yung pagkagawa ko. Yung tatlong items na gagawin nyo lahat. You have to draw the rejection area. You have to compute and find the conclusion. Okay? With complete solution. Clear po tayo? Any question bago tayo mag-end? Alin nyo hindi maliwanag?
Wala na po. Clear na po tayo. Sure na? So mag, magbibigay na lang ako ng gawain. Wala ng question. Thumbs up kapag okay na po tayo. O oh, yan. Okay po. So, sige po. So goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye po, sir. Thank you po. Salamat po. Thank you po. Bye-bye.